I'm gonna come back here, take a quick look at the spacer. It just, uh, this is a, uh, a Festool S2, and I like the tabby spacers. So, that's what we use. Keep all our spacers in that, and away we go. And then right here's the, the razor. Then there's the Sigma. And do you have your light again? One of the things that we've done here is you can see that as we've built this, it's set up to house what we need each layer. So what we did was we built the first layer, both sides, second layer, both sides, third layer, both sides. Then in here, since we're here, uh, this is our carpet kit. The only reason things we do carpet with are um, just doing transitions where we've tiled and then we needed to. So that sets there. Um, behind there's a little bit of white unsanded grout. That's always just a handy thing to have around. Then on this side, little Makita 714 sliding uh, slider. Go ahead and pull this. One of the things we're going to go down below here real quick. With the Festool MIDI. Went ahead and you can see I got these screws here. And the reason for that... is I can set the saw right here, run the hose right out here to the, set it on automatic, and basically I have a, a cutting station that is almost 100% dustless that I can use to uh, drag around and load my, uh, and do my uh, base shoe with. As you can see, this all just fits back together. We designed this so that they all fit and they all lock. This here now, it's all right where it needs to be. Then down here, we have our uh, Pullman Holt air scrubber. In here, we have exhaust hose. The uh, bag is another bag that's full of um, our uh, third hand and um, zip pole heads. A couple extra grinder wheels. Um, on this one here, have inserts for our larger grinders, and then we have adapters for the various um, types of plugs. We have three, three plug 30s, three plug 50s, and then a make your own from, from twin um, 110s that you can convert and it'll let you know when you have 220 and then I also keep an amp meter in here okay I think oh two other things three other things one is our little colorant kit this is a fast cap 2p10 colorant kit we use this to uh, when we have chips on tile we'll mix it up and uh, does a great job of padding that in here's our uh, PPE kit keep uh, safety glasses keep our uh, ear protection, keep our gloves, and then our, uh, our masks. We do get fitted every year for these. Um, it's one of the rules. It comes from my uh, lead abatement background. And then just for reasons of it's easiest to keep here, we keep our mineral spirits in this one as well. So, okay, I think that covers what we keep in the passenger side of our 5x8 custom trailer.